What's up, my babies? Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's another day. It's another dollar. It's another day. Another day. With me. <laughs> As you guys can see, um, I kind of dulled up for you guys. Yeah, I just felt like, I just felt the need to look good in front of the camera. I don't know guys if you can see, but I have my lashes on. If you guys like this lashes, the link is down below. It's for tours, uh, sorry, no, it's for, it's from tours glam. <laughs> My fucking brand and I can't even fucking pronounce it. It's from Tours Glam Line. So if you guys want this specific lashes, it's called Rosy. And if you guys want to place the order, I actually don't have my website yet, but just hit me up. Go get it, you girl! Go girl! Go get it! Today's video. <sighs> Today's video, it's gonna be a lot, a lot juicy. We're gonna talk about a lot of things. Um, it may or may not get emotional. But a lot of people have a hard time expressing their feelings. So, um, and then a lot of people feel like that's some sort of like, oh my God, it's cringy. Like, why are we talking about feelings? And, but we're human beings, guys. We have emotions. We have feelings. We have heart. We have the mind. We have the body. And we have the soul. <laughs> we need to talk about things that are very uncomfortable to talk about or things that you know that you've been bottling up um during the time that i was going through a lot i kind of ignored it and i kind of felt like okay you know what it's just gonna go away like if i just don't put attention into this it will just automatically disappear so i use a lot of things to escape from it i don't really like talking about my personal life but to be honest like sometimes we gotta talk about things that are make us uncomfortable for us to stay true to ourselves and be authentic let's be real people tend a lot of people tend not saying all of you guys but most of the people do tend to escape from their problems they try to run away from it thinking that it will disappear out of thin air there's no other way but to face it to face your fear, to face your doubt, to face, to face your problems, your issues about yourself. You do need to understand what a self-accountability is and that's growth. If you could sit there and say to yourself that, hey, I made a mistake. This was what I did and this is how I reacted to it and this is how the result, the result of my actions, I personally, have a lot of self-realization, self-reflection, and I sat myself down um, and told myself that, you know, Tracy, this is what you did. This is what you need to work on. This is the toxic traits that you have. This is what you did to people. It's because this is how you feel about yourself. A lot of people actually are really scared to show and to face their feelings and to show their true feelings because because of the fear of people judging them or, or the fear of showing feelings. But that's you though. That's who you are and you have to be vulnerable. You have to be true to yourself. You have to be true to your feelings. You have to express it for other people to understand you. Because if you keep hiding your true feelings and if you keep trying to hide yourself and trying to run away from it how would be able to know you how would you be even know yourself talk about your feelings and talk about your pain talk about your traumas talk about your you know anger and where is this coming from how this has happened where what, what am i gonna do with it healing is not just, like i said in my last videos healing is not an overnight process i keep saying this it's not an overnight process it's a it's actually a never-ending process there's a lot of people i could speak about myself because i used to be like this when i always always looking for the next best thing always looking for the next thing always looking for the what's gonna happen next what am i gonna do next what's my future is gonna look like how am i gonna do this how am i gonna do that but then i realized i'm like whoa, whoa, whoa hold up a second hold up is if you're always looking for the next best thing or the next thing that's gonna happen to you, it takes away the 
precious moment of right now the living in a moment you know i say that a lot living in a moment because when you always look for something that's not there it takes away the joy that the present brings to you it takes away the the appreciation that you have what you have right now and it, when you do look for the next best thing you are never gonna get you're never gonna be satisfied that's just for a fact. You're never going to be satisfied. You're never going to feel satisfied because you're never going to feel happy with what you have now. So when you look for the next best thing, you're always going to keep looking for the next best thing. Like it takes away the fulfillment of living in a moment. You know, People tend to compare themselves to others. It's like person A is having worse problem than mine. So why, why should I be worrying about mine? Your journey is different than the others. We, each person has their own journey. Don't invalidate yourself. Don't invalidate your problems, your feelings, your issues, your traumas, just because the other person has it worse. Instead, 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 take that experience for of others as an inspiration for yourself, but don't invalidate yourself. Don't invalidate the feelings that you have. Like don't invalidate your exhaustion or your tiredness because you know you see other people doing it. Don't compare your life to others because your life is completely uniquely for you. We're all connected, but we are walking on our own path. And you cannot compare yourself to others. The only thing you can walk on is in yours. So do what you can do for yourself. If you want to help others, do it through you, you know, work on yourself. I want to talk about heartbreak, love, pain, betrayals, relationships. That's what I want to talk about. Let's, let's get juicy. Let's get deep into this conversation. And by that, I would talk about my experiences. Yeah. So... I am the type of person that I love love, guys. I truly love love in any form, you know, love for my family, love for my friends, love for strangers, love for my anything, love for music, love for, yeah. But what I'm talking about this specifically is the love that, you know what I mean, the love. <laughs> I can't even find out about it. The love with a significant other. <laughs> So hard. The seat. I was just talking about having conversation, and it's so hard to kind of like, yeah, open it up, you know. Um, I think throughout my entire life, it was, um, because I came from a broken family. I came from. I was surrounded by a lot of people who have a lot of failed relationships, you know. Somehow in life. Uh, Throughout my lifetime, I kind of stopped believing in love and I kind of just kind of gave up on it in a way. And then later on, I actually, you know, fell in love and I, and I, and uh, I, it was very unexpected. A funny thing is I actually sat myself down and went outside my balcony, outside of my balcony, and I actually prayed to God. And I sat there and I said, God, I'm ready. Give him to me whenever you are ready i'm ready you know whenever you think is the right time for me to experience and i kind of just stand there and i said i just want to and i said this specifically and i still remember this i just want to experience love obviously god listened to me and um yeah and then god brought brought a man oh, why am i already crying mm -hmm. So he came into my life unexpectedly, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't planned, obviously, because that was God's plan. Um, it, it just kind of let it go. And I said, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm ready. Just ready. Just throw him at me. And that's what happened. And he came into my life. And to be completely honest with you, I, it was one of the most, It was the most beautiful thing that I have ever, ever experienced, you know. And um, <sighs> and um, you know, he uh, he came. Oh my God! I thought I was over. 
Hi! I'm just kidding. He came into my life and we had a beautiful, loving relationship. You know, it was it was beautiful. And there was a lot of, you know, intimacy and all that. And the beginning, obviously, all the relationships in the beginning always starts with, you know, like, let's do this together. Um, let's plan life together and all that. And I think what I... Um, I expected a lot from relationship from that relationship. I expected so much and I and it kind of um I wasn't living in a moment. You know, like I said, I was always looking for the next best thing and and I was looking for something that, you know, that wasn't there in a way. Um but I it, it took away like the the appreciation of what what I had at that moment, you know. Um, and I do believe that people come people come into your life, whether that be for a blessing or a lesson. But in this case, I think it was both. I think it was a blessing and a lesson to me because because of that relationship, I learned that I learned so much about me. I learned that I learned I, I never knew that I know how to love you know i never knew i never saw myself being in love or i never saw myself love somebody so um so then it, this relationship actually the relationship that i had actually showed things about myself that i never knew existed basically you know so um, yeah, and then I realized that I, yo, like, this is how I love. I experienced, that was love. I experienced love. And I'm not gonna stand here and say that was never love, you know? But because for, for me personally, I think it was very special. It's because it was my love that made it special. It was my love that made it special. Why am I crying? And then I realized that things don't work out the way it should work out or the way you imagine things to work out because it really, it, it would lead you to the person that you are and all these heartbreaks, all the experiences that you have in life, like I said, don't invalidate it because those, emo those traumas, those heartbreaks, those experiences, it would lead you to who you are as a person. It would lead you to a better version of yourself. In a relationship or in general, you have to always choose yourself. You know, tr when you're looking for a partnership, you're not looking for a partnership to complete you. Or you're not looking for a partnership to make you feel desirable or worthy or deserving of any, some, any sort. Because I want you guys to know and I want you guys to always remember this, that you are enough. You are enough and you are love. You don't need to seek love out of yourself. It's always within you. And I think that's what I I, I, um, I made a mistake with is that I was looking for love outside of myself. And I was looking for validations outside of myself. I was looking for somebody to make me feel important. I was looking for someone to make me feel worthy. But then in reality, I already am. I already am worthy. I already am deserving of love. I am already loved. The love that I've been seeking wasn't ever outside of me. It was always within me. It's always me. I am the love. I am my own soulmate. Everybody wants love. Who doesn't want love? I want love. I pray for love. I pray for love for the world peace to happen for love for us for all of us to love one another for us to be one and connect with each other and have love for each other have compassion for each other you know and that's what i've always wanted i think that's what that's what i've always wanted that's and then it just so happened that god gave me this lesson um so i can realize my worth as a person as a woman and I, I, I um, expected the other person to give me the love 
that I should be giving to myself. And my cup was empty. I realized that in order for me to spread love, in order for me to, you know, in order for me to help other people, in order for me to give love to other people, I have to fill in my own cup. I can't just be empty and keep giving when I know my cup is empty. Also, the relationship, like, it just kind of ended out of nowhere. I started blaming myself for every little thing that had gone wrong. I said, what did I do wrong? Why was I this? Was I suffocating him? Was I doing this to him? Was I, this? was I not enough? And I said, no. One day, the universe spoke to me and it said, no. So to me, you know, like the failed relationship, failed friendship that I had, I used to think of it as if like, oh my God, why did this happen to me? But then now I'm like, okay. This specific scenario, this specific situation, this happened because it's teaching me a lesson about myself. I would have not gotten here if it weren't for that failed relationship, if it weren't for that childhood trauma, if it weren't for that failed friendship. And I don't need anybody to complete me. I am complete. I am whole. Nothing is missing. I'm not missing. I'm not lacking. I am, t I am complete. I am a whole myself. You're here. You are important. You're worthy. You're valuable. I add value to you. You add value to me. But that scar is part of you. The scar that you have is the part of you. It's, it's a reminder that you have gone so far. And you made it here. And you're stronger. And you're better. You're here. You know, I do believe that all of us have purpose in this world. I do believe that all of us came here to serve a purpose, whether that be like, I don't know, whatever you think is your purpose, whether that through your talent, through your compassion, through your kindness, through your, you know, um, voice, speak your truth, to teach, to be a friend, to be a lover, to be a parent. You have a purpose in this life. You are important. Don't invalidate yourself. You're here for a reason. We are all here for a reason. Because the things that didn't work out would lead you to your destination. To where you're supposed to be. To where to where to where you're meant to be. You know, I may I don't know what you know the universe plan for me i don't know what's gonna happen i know but i do know that it happened for a reason i nothing happens by accident you don't meet people by accident i don't need you I'm, you're not watching me by accident you're actually watching me for a purpose you're watching here because you needed to hear things that i needed to say <laughs> and although i'm just blabbering i'm talking i'm talking but really i just want you to know that i understand you you're not alone in this we're in this together. We're all going through our own traumas. We're all going through our own pain. And when you feel like you're drowning, feel it. When you feel like you're in pain and you're sad and you're angry, feel it. Feel it. Feel every emotion there is. I know it's easier said than done. I know that. I know that. I've experienced that. It's easier said than done. People could tell you to just get over it. But you can't. You can't just get over it like that. It happened to you. So sit yourself down and talk to yourself and have self-reflection. What you could do better in the, in, for your future self. You know, what you could do to avoid self-sabotaging, to avoid the pain that you've been through. But regardless, this is life. Treat life as if like this is your last day. Like always. I feel like that helped me a lot to live a very peaceful life. 
I'm living like this is my last day. So I'm doing everything. I'm showing love to the people that are important to me. Everything is temporary. The only thing that's permanent is yourself. And we're all gonna die one day. So live your life to the fullest. Live it like it's your last day. Stop worrying about what's gonna happen tomorrow. Stop staying in the past. Just live in the moment. Just, ex just appreciate, experience life right now. And I promise you, I promise you it gets better. It gets fucking better, I'm telling you. You get to that moment of like fulfillment that like nothing could ever, ever take it away from you. I'm at peace right now. And all the problems gonna arise, things, issues, whatever. But like, I just have, I just have, an, like, I just know within me that I'll be fine. That God got me. That the universe is on my side. That I'm always protected and I'm always guided and I'm always loved and I'm always going to be all right. I need, just need you to know your worth. I just need you to love yourself more. Be more compassionate about yourself. Be kind to yourself because the moment the moment you start doing that you see things differently you really do you look at the word differently instead of looking at the word as if it's like the worst thing ever you start to appreciate little things the, the birds flying right here the clouds it's amazing the trees the snow even if it's cold as fuck even here in Canada I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate me being alive. I appreciate <laughs> that I can eat. I appreciate little freaking things. It's just so amazing. Life is amazing. And don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. Don't be afraid to love and to be loved. You don't need to know what's going to happen. You don't need to know how to do it. Just do it. Just fucking do it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> What's stopping you? What's stopping? What are you so scared of? What they're gonna say? What the other people are gonna say? Who are them to tell you what to do about your life? That's your life. Even if you choose the wrong path, you still have the power to get yourself out of it and choose the right path. Just like when you're driving. You don't think, you think you're gonna get lost? No, you, if you take the wrong turn, there's still a way to get to your destination. It may take longer because you missed the wrong exit, but you will get to your destination. I promise you, you will get to your destination. No matter what, even if you choose the wrong path for now, there is a way for you to get there one way or the other. You will get there. Trust in the process. Trust in the right time. Trust in God's timing. Keep working on yourself. Keep working on your dreams and make it, make your dreams your reality. Live like it's your last day, like I said. And I fucking love you. If you haven't heard that for a long time, I fucking love you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. That's all I have for now. I know I talked a lot, but I hope this video gave you something you guys make me cry today it's a little cringy but i'm pretty sure you guys felt what i was feeling and if you haven't subscribed or like any word comments just do so um, whatever whatever you want it's your choice but obviously i'll appreciate it if you do show some love to your girl over here my very i will try my very best to make you guys happy yeah, but I love you. I freaking love you. Thank you for watching.